Shalom Israel. Today's topic is called Haiti, a time for mourning or a time of warning. Our people need to understand that the Most High is behind all devastation on this earth, not Mother Nature. Um, and our people, through Christianity, have been taught that God is only responsible for all the good things that go on in the earth, and that the devil is responsible for all the bad. So let's get Numbers 16 to prove that lie to be a lie. Numbers 16, verse 1 to 3. Now Korah, the son of Izar, the son of Koath, the son of Levi, and Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliad, and On, the son of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men. And they rose up before Moses with certain of the children of Israel, 250 princes of the assembly, famous in the congregation, men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron and said unto them, ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord. So Korah, Korah, Korah and Abadam and David, they coveted the positions that the Most High put placed Moses and Aaron in. Alright? They coveted that. So now we're going to read the judgment for that. Verse 20. And the Lord spake unto Moses, and unto Aaron saying separate yourselves from among this congregation that I may consume them in a moment and they fell upon their faces and said <clears throat> excuse me oh God <coughs> oh, excuse me and they fell upon their faces and said oh God the God of the spirits of all flesh shall one man sin and wilt thou be with wroth with all the congregation and the Lord spake unto Moses saying speak unto the congregation saying Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abinam. And Moses rose up and went in unto Dathan and Abinam, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spake into the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they got up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan and Abiram on every side and Dathan and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents and their wives and their sons and their little children and Moses said hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works for I have not done them of mine own mind if these men die the common death of all men like a stroke or a heart attack or being stoned or or being killed by an animal that's common that's common death if these men, or disease, if these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth, and swallow them up, with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, meaning into the ground, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord, not Mother Nature. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them. I mean, the ground opened up. An earth quake. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up in their houses, and all the men that appertained unto Korah and all their goods. They and all, the, all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. So the Most High was provoked to anger and he caused an earthquake and killed Korah, David and Abraham, those who followed them, their women and their children. Alright? The Most High did the same thing in Haiti. He opened the earth up and buildings fell in, people fell in, buildings fell on top of people, killed men, women and children. Wicked men. Alright? Women and children. I pray he spared the righteous of the people who, who know their Israel. And keep the commandments over there in the faith of Christ. I pray he spared them. So the Most High killed wicked men with what? An earthquake. So do we mourn for wicked men, women, and children? Is that okay? Second Corinthians 7 verse 10. Let's go on to the law in the New Testament. And see if it's okay to mourn 
for wicked people like drug dealers and prostitutes or homosexuals or, or pedophiles like Michael Jackson do we mourn for them let's see 2 Corinthians 7 verse 10 for godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation not to be repented of so godly sorrow works repentance I mean you feel sorry for the lifestyle you once lived before you repented in Christ as an Israelite you feel godly sorrow for being a drug dealer for being a homosexual for being a whoremonger for being an adulterer for being a drug dealer a murderer alright a pedophile alright a pimp you feel godly sorrow for those things the most High says for godly sorrow work of repentance to salvation not to be repented of I mean you, you shouldn't feel bad for feeling godly sorrow that's a good thing that works repentance in a man or woman but the sorrow of the world worketh death so you feel sorry for people who live in the world and love the world who deal with witchcraft and deal with voodoo like the Haitians do over there or deal with Christianity or deal with homongering and murdering and killing and drug dealing like they do in Haiti or that they would do what they were doing in Haiti okay and over here as well and you feel bad for them pedophiles and so forth by Michael Jackson you feel bad for them dying and give tribute, tribute to them you work in death the most side does not want us to mourn for wicked individuals men women or children Jeremiah 16 verse 5 to 13 let's go into the Old Testament and see if that's true Jeremiah 16 verse 5 for thus saith the Lord enter not into the house of mourning neither go to lament nor bemoan them for I have taken away my peace from this people read that again for I have taken away my peace from this people said the Lord even loving kindness and mercies both the great and the small shall die in this land they shall not be buried neither shall men lament for them nor cut themselves nor make themselves bald for them neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning to comfort them for the dead Neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother. This is what he says to Jeremiah in verse 8. Thou, Jeremiah, shall not also go into the house of feasting. To what? To mourn. To sit with them, to eat and drink. For thus saith the, the Lord of hosts, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes and in your days, the voice of mirth, which is laughter, and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride. He's going to kill the husband and the wife. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt show this people all these words, they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this evil against this great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Then shalt thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, thus saith the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law, have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers, for behold, ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart, that ye may not hearken unto me, unto what? Unto his law. Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye know your fathers and there shall ye serve other gods day and night where I will not show you favor he's talking about Babylon in that time in this time he's talking about Haiti because Israel fled out of Jerusalem in 70 AD into Africa they fled from Jerusalem into Africa from Roman persecution and there they were sold by the Africans and the Arabs to the white man and they were shipped over to Haiti and the Most High has not shown Haiti favor Israel's dealing in witchcraft over there Christianity, whoremongering, drug dealing, homicide rate is ridiculous. Alright, the Most High has not shown Haiti favor. There's much famine over there, much disease. The Most High is not playing with Israel. Alright, especially the Israelites in Haiti. Alright. 